All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra tutorial channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we'll be talking about how you set up a push or toggle to mute button, like this one right here, where I can hit my tilde key next to the number one, and it mutes my icon or my little character here inside of Discord so people can't hear me. Then I can tap it again to unmute, and that's my preferred method of handling that inside of Discord. And setting these up is actually pretty easy. You just go into your user settings. These are the ones in the little gear here in the lower left-hand side of the screen. You click on the gear, and you wanna go down to key bindings, which are right here. And I've got a couple of key bindings that I, one of them I use, one of them I don't. One of them is push to talk, which I've been fiddling around with for another tutorial. Let me just delete that. And the other one is my toggle to mute button. So if I don't have anything enabled here, it'll basically show this. There's nothing enabled, there's nothing added, and all I gotta do is add key binding and say, I want this to be a toggle mute. And then I just click here and press the button I wanna use, and then click to tell it to stop recording. While I'm assigning key bindings, like it says here at the top, it says key bindings are disabled while this panel is visible. It won't try to activate other key bindings that might bork up what I'm trying to do or confuse people that might be hearing me in the background. And once I've got that done, I can hit this little X here and then my push to talk works marvelously or my push toggle to mute. And that's all you gotta do to set up most of the key bindings inside of Discord. So we go back into key bindings. We can add some other types of key bindings. We can add push to talk, push to talk priority which allows you to talk over other people if you have priority speaker enabled. You've got toggle mute, toggle deafen so that you can mute and deafen yourself. Toggle, uh, I don't actually know what that is. Toggle streamer mode, toggle overlay mode, toggle overlay lock, toggle overlay chat. All these things that are kind of built in into Discord, although personally, I don't use the overlay much. Toggle streamer might be kind of useful when I'm doing a lot of tutorials and I'd like to turn it on or off depending on what I want to show people. And I'm actually going to look up what toggle VAD is. Video, oh, it's probably like video display so that people can or can't see your video when you're in a video call. But we'll check that out later. So that's sort of the ins and outs on how to select and assign key bindings inside of Discord, including how to set up a toggle mute button. Hope you found that useful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.